And that's the beauty of having Jared Dillinger on your team. He can guard any anybody from that one, two, three spot. Keaton Hatton scoring has been pretty much even except for the second quarter. 17 to 6. Team Lamang ng Meralco. That was just a horrendous quarter for Talk and Tex. Leo Campo trying to decide what to do. Is scoreless din to back in the first half. Pero nagsisimula na magambag. Dito sa second half. And he opens up this fourth frame by dropping those two points. Grabe naman yung fade away ni Ranidel Deo Campo. Konti na lang yung talun niya, pero may hang time pa rin. Mabasa apat ang inahabol ng tropang TNT. Dillinger with the leather, Reyes on him. They go to Buena Fe at the post. They want to attack etong si Jason Castro. They want him to pick up that fifth foul, but Castro does enough to bother him. And the blur was trying to explode into the front court. Ooh, interesting. Isang referee, regular foul din na, wag na sa likod. Deliberate foul, and Coach Norman will object to that ball. Sabi niya, play for the ball naman. But great defense by Castro and Buena Fe, forcing that turnover and a good reaction also by Jai Reyes. So, hindi na nga iimbestiga, no? Rekta na, two shots plus possession to para sa tropang TNT. Castro, make sure of the first. Tignan natin, ano? Sa dibdib tinamaan eh. Dibdib, sayang. Medyo one second late yung pag-call din yun. Baka pwede pa. Although, that, that's a close call for me. You know what? I, I, I myself am undecided if you give that a deliberate foul or a regular foul based on our rules. 61-58. TNT is within three. Castro looking for the tie or maybe come within one. He goes to Kelly. Ball is tapped out of bounds by Onwaku. Slow day at the office for Arinze Onwaku. But just his presence is already such a big difference for the boats, especially uh, since Ivan Chanton has been missing. Ranidel lines it up. No good on the long one. Karam working against Reyes. Jai, that is. Ooh. Karam might have had a dribbling violation. And Coach Jong is asking for that dribbling violation, which he may have a good point. Two man substitution. Hodge, Nagbalek, Barake Ryan, Buenafe. Newsom replaces Dillon. 14 to shoot for the guys in orange. And zone defense, along yung DNT instead. They feel there is no three point threat at this juncture. From the five on the floor for Miralco. Karan misses. No foul, just out of bounds. Kelly, will, Kelly Williams was holding on to his mouth though. Now Ryan they, Reyes in Ana Petrosi yeah, Campo. They want to go to their money man or Ranito Deo Campo. Let's give him the ball and he make a play. Gandang alang ng denial defense si Paundo. Dito kay RDO. Kelly Williams forced to put that one up. Karam over at the other end. Karam being bothered by Jai. Yun nga lang, may tulong siya. Screen ni Onwaku, clear out muna si Jai. Hodge has seven to try and generate a shot. They go to Newsom, back to Hodge. Long two. Mintis. Williams taps it to the wrong man. And the ball will remain with Miralco. Eh si Onwaku kabakbakan mo eh. Oh, mahirap talaga. Tapik mo na lang. That's the right thing to do. Hodge, attacking Jai, that's an offensive foul. Lit na ni Jai, pinabaan mo na balikan. Easy call, credit Jai defense. He's been working hard on the defensive end, whether pressuring Anjo Karam, kanina si Baser Amir ito, trying to bother itong si Cliff Hodge. Ooh, bone crunching pick from Ranadel de Ogapa, and he is whistled for an offensive foul. Ancho Karam should get mad at this team. It's nobody told him there was a screen. I mean, fine, illegal screen ang tinawag. Pero sapul na sapul ka doon. Naku, uh, that's not nice. You, you, you gotta communicate. Yun nga, no? sabihin mo lang, you know, behind or left or right. In this case, ayun na. Interesting, nakaside lang si Ranigay. Hindi niya man kumagalaw. Was he, tur was he twisting kaya siya napituan? Or kasi planted yung paan. Oh, okay. Bang, bang play. Could have been a no call. So I'm sure that helps. Hodge makes him pay, extends this Miracle lead back up to five. Tandaan natin ng Philippine Cup, isa lang ang naipanalo na itong Miracle. 
This time around, nakaulit sila doon sa tinalo nila noon na Star Hotshots. Naghahanap sila ng improvement with a second win tonight. And so far in the first two games, kita mo naman yung improvement nga nila already. That's why they were so relieved to get that victory. I, I was impressed with their win over the Star Hotshots considering nga yung import nila just arrived. No time to prepare. Speaking of imports, merong report to sell. Tungkol kay Ivan Johnson. Yes, update Magu. According to PBA Chief Media Bureau Head Willie Marshall, Ivan Johnson is gonna be banned. It's 90% agreed on. Few of the TNT management have been told official statement is to be followed. That to you. Wow. Well, I, I think we discussed this off-air at halftime, so I wouldn't be surprised because, why, he just disrespected the commissioner. I mean, we had one import, si Orton ng uh, star, dati, binan for saying bad stuff about a coach, uh, which was Manny Pacquiao. Ito, basically, you, you cursed or said whatever to the commissioner. I'm not sure what he said, but that's what it seemed like because Commissioner Narvasa was not happy at all. Back to the damn ball! Here, okay. okay? So you don't pick here, you get Jason the ball here. But make sure, here, ah. 65-58, by 7 points. TNT on the attack, Castro. Switching Meralco, sa pick and no, now Castro has found on him. Castro trying to squeeze one through, he gets the ball. And that's the way to attack the switch. Don't settle for any jump shot. Anytime. It's hard enough for a guard to stay in front of Jason Castro. What more you don't see Faundo and he just had a nice touch of floater. Yeah. Newsom going over to his right side. Hodge over to Faundo. Outside jumper. Beat in. Ryan Reyes with a running start. He goes back to Castro. The blur dancing with Hodge. Drops it off to Kelly for the two handed jam. Wow. Talk about stops. Nice play by. Kelly Williams also bailing out Jason Castro by moving again. To malo na si Castro kung wala sa dun, bakak wala sa mapasahan. But Kelly just finding the right spot. At ang TNT will be back in action February 19 at the Moa Arena. That's in six days time. Well, at least if kung totoong ay report ni Sel na si Ivan Johnson will be banned, they're gonna have at least a few days to get their import. But they better start working right now. That's on next Friday. Ano? Ito naman Meralco will be back on Wednesday, February 17, contra sa Raider Shine sa Smart Araneta. Sunod-sunod rin itong laro ng Meralco. That's three games in the span of a week. Paundo was clipped in the head on the way up. One of two so far from that free throw line. Make that two of three. This excellent shot is brought to you by Stanley Hand Tools and Power Tools. Performance in action. Paundo goes two for two sa pagkakataon na yun. Re-extending their lead to 5-67-62. Seven and a half remaining in this game. Mamiyamiya nga po ha, pagkatapos na ito. Aba, ang Rainer Shine will make their 2016 OPPO PBA Commissioner's Cup debut contra sa Star Hot Shots. Offensive foul whistled on that sequence shot. Ang pa, si Chris Newsom sumapit yung paan niya dun kasi. Kay Harvey Carey, and that's already the... Third offensive foul for Top Netex when Meralco already has seven offensive fouls. Nabong to the baseline. It is Hodge. Well covered by Ryan Reyes. Pero pag sao sao ni Hodge, napasabit niya sa kanyang braso si Double R. Second foul number 10. Ryan Reyes is third. 13 foul for Top on TNT. Two free throws, Cliff Hodge. Hodge misses on the first. John Wichigo giving additional instruction at the end of that TNT bench. Hodge makes it a six-point game. Mahigit pitong minuto na lang natin tira sa first game ng ating PBA Sabado. Coming to you live on TV5. Of course, you also got the option of watching the PBA live on Hyper HD. That's channel, channel 130. And for English commentary, sa uh, Signal Channel 198 na month. That's one thing. They wanted Hodge to be the one to be guarding that pick and roll between Tau 2 and Caso para pag may switch. Kaya naman at least niya tapatan si Caso. Pero ito natawagan siya ng foul. But Caso having a much harder time blowing by Hodge as compared to the other guys. And 
Kanina pa natin binabanggit yung magiging second game natin mamaya. Bukas naman po, balik big dome ang inyong PBA. We got Blackwater and Mahindra going toe-to-toe -to -toe at 3 p.m. Susundan ng Salpukang Global Court at Barangay Nebra, the ultimate three match ba yan? Inaabang oh, ang lahat ba yan? Sure, and uh, both those teams coming off uh, losses. Uh, yung isa, tinampakan rin. Uh, not a good game for both those teams. Motau Tua, back on the floor for TNT. No problem, Amiralco in the backcourt. Dillinger gets it across. Kasama niya si Nabong, Newsom, Amer, and Onwaku. Dillinger to Nabong. Pitches a pass to Amer. Long bomb on the way. Ayo talaga para kay Basel. Just a three point shooting of Miralco. This game has not been good. One out of 13. This game, of course, their best shooters are probably Jimmy Alapag and Gary David, but both those guys not on the floor at this moment. Nabanggit na natin si Tautua, kasama niya si Castro, Fonacher, Carey, and Ryan Reyes. Castro will launch it and bury it! Three point shot nga natin sa atin ng Oppo F1 Selfie Expert. 17 points now for Castro. Much better second half. The moment he released that, alam na niya, pasok yun. Dillinger fake that pass to Onwaku, gets it back from Newsom. Amer on the attack. Napawi naman kagad ni Paser. That was a three from way downtown. Atid pa rin sa atin ng Oppo F1 selfie expert. Castro going the other way, 71-66. Miralco back up by five. Castro on that baseline. Hindi naman niya naipagpag si Onwaku. Forced to give it up to Tautua. Six to shoot. Ponacher. Huli ni Dillinger. Pero pati braso. Kasama ro. Ganda na pag-ahead ni Dillinger dun. Actually, bo bola rin na una ata. And, from my view. And may have just put Ponacher after that. Larry taking care of the first. Two for two para dito kay Ponacher. Back inside of Phil Sports Arena, Kusan etong Meralco Balls is trying to do all they can to hold off this all Filipino charge ng tropang TNT. Lamang parin sila ng tatlo by way of their balanced attack. Of course, Cliff Hodge leading the way with 15 points. He's been big. Jared Dillinger doing most of his damage in the first half, but still, again, the brain contribution, yeah, and again. Brian Fahundo, the surprise starter for Meralco today. So, ang ganda ng bulot ni Coach Norman. If you look at the import, uh, he only has 8 points. So, mas marami pa rin na shoot ni Ivan Johnson sa kanya in 15 minutes of play. Si Ivan Johnson thrown out now with more than 4 minutes remaining in the second quarter. Eh, lamang pa, 9 points yung naging total niya. Waku's got to make his presence felt here para dito sa Bolts if they want to break this game open and secure that second win. Amer, may tanga ng bola. Who do they go to at this juncture of the game? Six to shoot. Baser over to Newsom. They gotta go quicker. Newsom, humingi pa ng pick. Pupula, puli! Ikan Buelas Rosser! Well, Newsom had no confidence to shoot that three-point shot. He actually had it. That's a shot he's gotta take. Tinapit niya, palpal tuloy. But, oh! Ooh. Jason Castro! Ganda na ng galaw ni Jason. Nalusot pa niya yun. Trying to sneak that one through. Sobra lang sa pectus. Newsom ulit ang didiscarte para sa Meralco. Baser coming out to meet that pass. Not even looking at Onwaku at this point. Now he finally gets his hands on it. Napaganda pa yung foul ni Tautua sa pagtulak niya kay Kelly Nabang because Onwaku had that basket basically. Paalala, pwede pa kayo mag-shout for your favorite players sa sports5.ph right now. And it's Jason Castro topping that shout count list.
Amer swings it over to Newsom. Pushing foul over 22, Manganuela Serzer. His first. That's a fifth for throw on TNT. 14, Nella Champagne. Amer swinging it over to Dillinger. JD looking to make something happen. He goes reverse and gets the roll. Good move by Dillinger. You've got to block that way. That's the only way he had, he had left. And, you know, just a bit quicker to run it there beat him to that spot. Balik sa limang abante ng Miralco Bolts. Castro on the attack. Natapigan ni Amer. Ball will remain with TNT. Castro once again puts his set down. Another whistle is blown. That's going to be the fifth foul of Chris Newsom already. So let's see how things will change for the Bolts. He's been the one guarding Jason Castro. Think of that. Papalit nila si JD and Chris Newsom. Newsom will stay with Castro. He's going to have to play honest defense. Now Castro will look to go to his right side, Ponacher. Inaantay yung pick mula dito kay Kelly Williams. Deo Campo thought about the three, drives closer. Kelly back to Larry. Here comes the long one. Sumobra para kay Ponacher. Under four minutes now remaining in the first game of your PBA Saturday. Yusam dancing with Deo Campo. They go to Amer, puts it on the deck. Amer had to adjust. Oh, good. Nabong will get them another possession. Yusam blowing by Castro. Held back by Ryan Reyes. Ball number 10, Ryan Reyes, is fourth personal. Two free throws, Chris Newsom. Newsom making sure of that first one, extending their lead now to six. Largest lead of the game has only been nine points for Miralco and six for TNT, Charles. And that was in the second quarter when nakapaku nga yung uh, TNT sa 26. But uh, it's been a relatively close game. But uh, Miralco actually taking control for most part of this game. TNT only led that first quarter, 16 to 10. He split yung three throws na yon. Six points! Okay. Not the time. So you break down 53. Tatlong po sa Miralco. Dalawang po tatlo naman para dito sa TNT. As we remind everybody, ayan nga po, susunod na laro na itong TNT will be Friday contra Global Port Samoa and then they take on Alaska and Phoenix next after that. We're going to have six days to prepare for the Batang Pierre. Miralco naman will be back in action on Wednesday, February 17, sa Big Dome. Kanilang makakatapat ang Rain or Shine. Substitution, Jason Foster for Jairus and Giovanna for Chris Newsome. Are you surprised Jimmy Alapaga has not been utilized late in this game? A bit. Uh, I don't know if it's because Coach Norman wants to develop his other players, but uh, it's clear that he has three point guards that he's been using all three of them every game, first half, second half, even in the first game, then and then. But uh, down the stretch, I wouldn't be surprised to see Jimmy enter though a bit later, whether it's for the last play or whatever it is. But at the same time, you have to understand defensively. Sino kasi ang babanta ni Jimmy Alapag? Poposte yan lang siya or atakin lang siya ng kusina man sa token text. Karam metanga ng bola ngayon after that RDO miss. Karam looking to go to Onwaku. Eight points pa rin. Ang nasa talaan nito ni Onwaku. Amer from deep. Air balls that one. Deo Campo and Nabong battle for it. Deo Campo gets it over to Reyes. Kelly to Castro on the run. Going by two defenders. Gets that basket up. Big play by Jason Castro there. Again, just taking matters into his own hands. That was a tough move there. But Basel Amer, uh, so you take a look at this fast break play. Oh, quality play na yan. Hatid sa atin ng Mariwa sa tiles. Celebrating 50 years of uncompromising quality. Speed Jared Dillinger to that spot. Pero si Pasel Amer, 1 for 7 from 3 point range. He's been getting a lot of open looks. Yung nasut pa niya yung medyo malayong tira. 
Three point play completed by Castro. That brings them to within three. Dalawa at kalahating minuto na lang natitira. Sa ating unang offering mula dito sa Phil Sports Arena. Amer Metangan. He's got Castro on him. On Waku at the post. Dalawa kagad ang sasalubong sa kanya. On Waku goes cross court once again. Dillinger from the punches it through. He hit that shot badly and Dillinger just bought himself a few minutes. Sabi Coach Norman kay Cliff Hodge, Teka lang, mamaya na lang, nakasut na si Dillinger at they needed that one. Atin sa atin yan ng Oppo F1 Selfie Expert. Two-minute warning has been announced. Ronidel misses. Last two minutes at it's at it ng Cobra. Ilabas ang tunay na lakas. Cobra, gusto ko pa. Crucial possession here for TNT. They need to stop here. Dillinger on the attack. Pull up jumper. Jarrett, no. On Waku lost that rebound. Castro thought he got bumped in the head, but action will continue. Ani ang inahapon ng TNT. Castro felt the contact. Trying to get a three-point play opportunity. Smart play by Jason Castro. Alam naman niya, he can get the step on Anjo Karam. And Karam bumped him there. So there really was a foul. And that stops time. Attack the defense while they're not yet ready. Hindi pa nakaset yung mga health defense ng Meralco. Newsom coming back on para dito kay Karam. Castro misses on that second one. So it's a five-point lead para dito sa Bolts. Yusam will get it across and sue for time. So Jason, napangalagaan yung foul trouble niya. Uh -huh. He's good right now with under a minute and 20 to go. Yusam lost it. On Waku gets the basket. Mika Sama pang foul. Hindi ko alam kung pasa yun. Or medyo swerte lang na wala yung ball na kay Chris Yusam. But uh, hey, they'll take it. That was a big play. On Waku finally scoring. He's been quiet. For a very long time. It's his first basket in the fourth. Uh -oh. Alam niyang bitin yung kanyang free throw. Leaving a window open para dito sa TNT. Castro from that crossover. Lumiyad pa. That's going to be it for Chris Newsom. But grabe yung crossover ni Jason Castro. I did enter. That's just so shifty, so quick. Huh, you don't stand a chance staying in front there. Now Jimmy Alapag will be redeployed by Coach Norman. Well, it's the ball of the Bolts anyways after this possession. So Chris Newsom is going to foul with Jimmy nine points and three rebounds. Solid game. But, uh, let, let's see. Uh, the game's not yet over, especially if Castro makes these two free throws. Kanina, mintis yung pangalawa para dito kay Jason. Can he adjust? Gets the first. Well, Castro's just nine for 15 from the free throw line. It was two for two sa pagkakataon na yun to bring them to within five. 41. All right, thank you. One thing. Okay? Just not the rules and the ball pick. Okay, when on one, huh? When on Waku make... What? Okay, fine. When on Waku gets the ball, you foul him. Right away. Arm, arm. Don't even help. Just go for the ball, go for the ball. Go for the ball, boo. All right? That means we have to deny everyone else. So Clear, it, all right? okay? If they don't get in the ball... Now. If they run a ball pick and get the ball to Waku, boom, foul him. Don't give him a three-point play. Anyway, next sandwich sa tayo rito eh. On Waku on the ball pick, sandwich, when he gets the ball, boom, foul. All right, we got that. It's either you or you. No, no, no. You cannot foul him away from the ball. So I don't know where he will be. I don't know where he'll be. So we've got to make him get the ball just to be sure and foul him. Clear? If they don't get the ball, play defense. If they don't get the ball to Mwako, play defense. All right, we're good. Coach Joey Chico playing the numbers game. Dahil itong si Arinze on Mwako. 
is actually yeah. a 50% free throw shooter, Charles. Well, he's one for three at the moment this game. I love how clear that timeout was as we take a look at our upcoming schedule. Yeah. Blackwater Mahindra, alas tres ng hapon, bukas po yan. And then Global Board takes on Barangay Hinebra. And Kelly Williams was saying, why don't I just follow him as he's setting a screen or as he's moving? Because they've been calling that anyway, Sapin. <laughs> That's hindi. part of the play. Oh, but last two minutes, baka matawagan ba tayo ng uh, deliberate or kung ano man yun. So, I mean, just let him get the ball and then you, you follow him. Hindi, honest defense lang. If Onwaku comes anywhere near this leather, if he decides to set the screen, if you're part of the play, and here he comes. But nobody fouled him. Shot clock is at nine. Hodge puts it up. Voila! Onwaku inside. Good stock basket. Mika Samana among fouls. So the one thing Coach Chong said not to let happen is let him get a three point play. That's exactly what happened. So, uh, unfortunate play there. Ganda na depends on Irani Del. But. Cliff Hodge again fighting for that ball, getting the possession, keeping it alive. You know, well, mention the blessing kick early in Bola, but uh, just so happened when Wahoo was just at the right place at the right time. On Waku completes the three point play. Jason, all right, Kelly. This is you, huh? Kelly. Okay, Ryan, you're inbound. Okay, Larry, you're here. Daniel, at the top. Okay, we run Boomer. Jason, back screens for Kelly. If the lap is there, it's, it's, if it's not there, Ryan, don't worry about it. Daniel sets the screen. Okay. Jason, Don Caranto. Okay, Kelly, clear pit for Larry. Move, roll to the basket, Kel. Okay, Kel, you've got to be somewhere here. After this, you gotta be somewhere here. Come on, all right, you got that? Okay? Castro looking to meet that pass. Ball was kicked by Dillinger. Sayang, isang ball fake lang. Libre, libre na sana si Rani Del de Ocampo doon. They're gonna have to do it all over again. Castro tatanggap kontra dito kay Karam. Whips a pass over to Fonasher. Three pointer is good, Barangay What a play by Coach Chong Yuchiko. Perfect play. Nice screen set by Kelly Williams. You see that a lot, that action being run by the San Antonio Spurs. Coach Chong executing that play perfectly. And that keeps them well within striking distance. Apat na pung segundo pa na titira dito. 30 second time out ng Gagamito. Ng Miralco. Matt, Matt, you get the. Okay, Jason, they move the ball, we funnel. Okay, we funnel. Kelly, I want you on the ball. Kelly! got the ball out of bounds. Did it go foul? Did it go foul right away, guys? Kelly, Kelly! You go screen for the serve. He's out. He's out. We gotta come out right here. So I can only stop one guy, though. Screen, come to the basketball. Let's get the ball home. Get, 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 get. Is it imperative that TNT fouls, or is there enough time to play good defense? Well, I think before, uh, when we were that in time out of TNT, said, I think he wanted to fun and try to force a trap. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see them foul. Depends eh. on who gets the ball, then you want to foul him. But Coach, no, and ito yung final Jimmy. sinasabi mo. You don't want to foul Jimmy, but Jimmy is trying to slice through those two defenders. And based on the reaction of Coach John, I'm looking at him right now, I don't think he wanted to foul like that. And definitely not Jimmy. But, you know, he's been sitting on the bench for a while. Uh, who knows? Coach Norman actually wanted to put Guy David in also. But it's a 30 second timeout. Isa lang pwede yan pumasok at the time. Alapag make sure the first. He needs the second one to make it a three possession lead para dito sa Bolts. Koto na siya, nagbinti siya na free throw kanina sa technical foul. Jimmy make sure of that one. Coach Jong. Kanina, ang ganda nung sequence, ano? Nahanap nila si Ponacher sa kanto. Ngayon, doon nagsimula si Larry. Rani Del, babalik kay Reyes. Step back, na ipit pa rin. Ponacher going for the quick two. He gets the roll. Now they're gonna have to foul here. Just make sure it doesn't go to Jimmy Alapag. Oh! Jimmy actually took down Ponacher. Yep. 
Bueno, si you're trying to sell that call, eh, ito. Nakita mo yung jersey ni Bonacia, oh, actually, yeah, bumaba, yeah, yeah. eh. Yeah. Could have been. Ryan Reyes, six fouls. That's gonna be good night para dito kay Ryan Reyes. Matt Ganuela Schroeser, papalit sa kanya. Now they're gonna test Baser Amer at the line, Charles. Not the ideal ball game so far for Amer. Yeah, he's three out of four from the free throw line. He does have eight points in this game to go with three steals. Make that nine points as he took care of the first. But now they need this one to go in. And he completes it, pushing their lead to three possessions once again. Jai, 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 get Kelly. Jai, get Kelly. Okay? Same thing, Pare. Ganyan dyan lang dito. Ganyan dyan lang dito. Ha? Okay? Jai, dito ka. Okay? Diyan tayo rin, ha? Okay? No, I want... Ganyan dyan, dito ka. Yes, you are the inbound. Okay? Uh, I still want Larry here. Dylan here. Okay? But the defending champions find themselves on the ropes, down by seven points with only 26 seconds to go. Of course, they've been playing this entire second half minus their import, who was thrown out of this game because of a technical foul and a flagrant foul combination. Possibly for the rest of the conference, for uh, saying some words to Commissioner Chito Narvasa. Jai Reyes now in the game. Pinalitan si Kelly Williams. They need that three-point shooting. Si Jai pa na migay-migay ng pick dito. <laughs> Castro forces it up over Karam. No. Castro from the ground almost got that rebound. Possession will remain with Tropang TNT. Good challenge by Karam. But you have to be careful in that situation. Nakita mo, in talk and text, sila pa yung humihingi ng review. Bakit? Wala na silang timeout. Eh. They want a review. Give Coach Jong extra time to drop a play even if they, 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 they know it's their ball. Ano yun, ang bilis ng referees natin ngayon. Maliwanag eh. Oo, di na ka. Ang kanila naman talaga eh. Pwede sila magpa-delay of game. Coach Norman, going with a smaller guy, Nabong, who's more agile defensively and can switch better than Onwaku. Onwaku, of course, didn't want it, but you gotta listen to your coach. Sa kanto, si Jai, babalik kay Ranidel. Fly by, move on, Nabong. Ranidel delivers the long bomb. This guy's the best shooter in the league. So we don't want to leave him. Okay? That's my bad. Just turn around. If they don't come to you, go right back to him next time, huh? More timeouts, huh? So we got to get open now. All right, got to get open. Uh, hey, watch the trap. We got to timeout. Hey, no more timeouts, huh? No more timeouts. Don't let him chop you. Can you get a unicorn? Guys, I need this to go first here and then Jimmy down. Okay, okay because Carl is the important thing is to get open. Now, you gotta get open. Crystal clear from Coach Norman. They just need to get open. 15 seconds oh, na lang oh, Now, obviously, TNT has no choice but to foul them. The worst thing you could do is to turn the ball over and give them and make it a one possession ball game. Pero klaro klaro rin siya sabi niya, Ranidel de Ocampo's the best shooter. Uh, don't leave him open, please, next time. And Onwaku will be riding the bench for this one. And the referee is asking everybody in orange to grab those seats. Amer ang maglalabas. Pupunta kay Alapag to sa kanto. And they call out of bounds. So yes, the ball will go out of bounds. Jimmy was waiting to get fouled. Naisahan siya dun ni Jai Reyes ah. No timeouts for TNT. Castro with a running start. They're down by four. Jason back to the RDO. Huli! Ni Cliff Hudson! 
game-saving block from Cliff Hodge. A big play by Cliff Hodge there. Sabi nga ni Coach Norman, next time don't leave him open. And Hodge, of course, knew Ranidel was going to shoot that, so you credit Cliff Hodge for making a huge play. Now Jimmy can put on the finishing touches. Here comes that block from Hodge. Timing that one perfectly, and Jimmy can put this one to bed. That's probably going to be it right now. That run it out, would have been the only hope of TNT. And, but even then, still would have been tough for them. Pero mayon, mukhang uh, alangani na talaga sila. Jimmy makes both, extending their lead up to six. Castro looking to put in the last say, maybe thinking quotient. Goes for the layup. Yeah. Oh, That's one thing we've talked about. Nga, in quotient, very important. Kasi nga, any tie will be, uh, the quotient will be used to determine, except for that number two and number eight spot. So 88 82 is your final score. The Miralco Bolts double up on their win total from the Philippine Cup. They are off to a 2 0 start in this 2016 OPPO PBA Commissioner's Cup.